Good afternoon. Imagine yourself standing instead of me on this stage to share this speech with the audience. Do you think that sharing an idea with the audience is an easy task? Do you think that me and all the speakers today standing here and delivering this speech, do you think that we are feeling relaxed? Do you think that we are feeling there is no stress? Who's feeling from public speaking in this hall? Mostly there will be some persons who's fearing from public speaking. Do you know why? There is only one reason for that, which is that public speaking is not inside our, of, uh, inside our comfort zone. It's something unusual in our lives. So we cannot do it like without thinking. We have to prepare and think before we do any speech in our lives. Do you know that public speaking is the number one fear in the world? It affects three out of four, which means 75% per 75 suffering from speech and anxiety. So people would rather die than speak in public. As an example, I am one of the persons who is feeling stressed while I am going to speak in public. But if I want to share this speech with you, or if I want to share any speech with any audience, I have to get out of my comfort zone. I have to take one step forward from my comfort zone. Most of us living within our comfort zones, do you know why? Because we are feeling relaxed in that zone. We are feeling that we have owned everything and nothing new out there. We prefer to stay in the same city and in the same place with the same friends because, because we know each other, we know everything, we know all the regulations, we know we can face any problem that can happen to us in our comfort zone. What do we mean by saying comfort zone? It's something, it's everything that we can do in an easy way without feeling any stress. So if you want to check that you are living within your comfort zone, you have to check if you are doing something easy. If you are doing something easy, that means that you are staying in your comfort zone. But the good news is that we can expand our comfort zone. We can stretch our comfort zone. I will give one simple example. When we started to drive the car for the first time, it was something new for us. It was something difficult for us. We cannot do it without thinking. It was a new, it's not a usual activity within our daily life. So, but after some time, it became something easy. It became something inside our comfort zone. Everything in our lives is similar to driving the car. Why? Because it started for the first time and after a period of time of practicing that activity, it will become something easy for us and it will be inside our comfort zone. So we have expanded our comfort zone by learning a new skill. But there is a problem that we are feeling from expanding our comfort zone. We are feeling from getting out of our comfort zone. In my opinion, there are two reasons for that. The first one is people's words. We are feeling from people's words. We are feeling from people's words because when we are going to do something new in our lives, someone will come to us and say that you, you cannot fit for that job because you don't have the required skills for that job or you cannot fit for that college because it's hard and you will not success in that college. Why we are pushing ourselves to imagine a similar scenarios every time that we are going to try something new? Your overthinking of people's reactions toward your steps and action is what restricts your actions. Don't link your life with people. Do what you see that it's Comfort and do not, especially if it's not hurting anyone, do it and don't care. The second reason of feeling from expanding our comfort zone is our fear from uncertain situations. We are feeling from anything new in our lives. We are feeling from the new experience, a new relationship, a new job. But why we have to fear from a new experience? If you asked any one of your success friends or any success person, if he has faced any problems or struggles within his success journey, he will say, of course, yes. So in the journey, in the success journey, or in any change process in your life, you have to face some problems and some struggles. I will share a very short story with you. I was living in Dubai for around 20 years old, and I was working there. At one moment, I felt that 
I am not doing anything new in my life. I know everything. I know, I know too many friends, and I'm going to my job, coming back home, and that's it. I'm, I, and I'm repeating my days. I was thinking, one thing came to my mind that if I want to change my life, if I want to learn something new, I have to change my place. I have to change where I'm living. So I decided to come here to Turkey. When I came here, too many things was changed in my life. I started my master's degree. I found a new job in a new field that was not in my plans at all. I started a new, to, to learn a new language. I started to meet a new people. So, so it was a big new experience for me. I don't want to say that I did something big or I did, I did something super, but I will summarize this story by one simple statement that if you want or one decision in your life can change many things in your life. So if you want to get out of your comfort zone, you have to take the decision and make action. Several studies showed the positive results related to the, to the unusual practices of the success of the success people. One study conducted by two psychologists showed that remaining in a state of comfort ensured a steady performance. However, if you want to maximize or to increase your performance, you have to be in a place of optimal anxiety, which, there, which is something out of your comfort zone. So what do we mean by optimal anxiety? We have to be in a place that we feel a little bit of fear. We have fear a little bit of uncertain situation. One more study showed that learning new skills while remaining a strong social network can help us stay mentally sharp as we get older. So what do we learn from these two studies? We, ha we have learned that if you want to make something new in your life, you have to be out of your comfort zone. You have to achieve something, so you have to be out of your comfort zone. One American entrepreneur advised that if you want to maximize your learning, you have to make sure that you are doing hard things 70% of the time. At the end, I am calling every one of you to get out of your comfort zone and learn something new every day. Do not let fear stop you. Do not let time or anything else or money stop you from getting out of your comfort zone. I promise you that you will find a surprising experiences and opportunities far away from your comfort zone. Take one step forward and get out of it. One last thing, do not forget to do one thing that scares you every day. Thank you.